Hello, get ready for this chest, back and abs workout. What you'll need is a pair of medium dumbbells or whatever you have accessible and whatever fits your strength. You also need a mat or supportive surface. And now the format is going to be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. You'll have a complete warm up and cool down as well. And if you're ready, let's jump right in. Okay, let's start with our warm up and no weights needed. So we're gonna start on all fours, palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Cat cow, so we're inhaling, dropping the belly, exhaling, curling up through the spine. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round out the back. Connecting that breath. Connecting that mind and body. That's why a warm up is so good because it sets you up for success for your workout. And we activate all the right muscles. Keep it going for another 10 seconds. Go at your own pace. Beautiful, now neutralize that spine. We're gonna move into a T-spine rotation. Placing your right hand behind your ear, opening up that right elbow and shoulder joint, coming down to meet that forearm. Off we go, so opening up and lowering down. Once again, getting that twist, or once again, warming up that spine, but now you're getting a twist through that torso. So we're warming up the abs as well as that shoulder joint here. Engaging that back, opening up the chest. Now in this warm up, you can flow through these movements, but the idea is to go slow and intentional and really utilize your 45 seconds with each move. And let's transition to the next move. Extend that right arm out by your ear. Extend your left leg out long. We have a bird dog, so scooping in elbow to knee, lengthening out. Off we go. Elbow to knee, lengthen out all the way from the fingertip to the toe. Now the challenge here is to keep your shoulders and your hips parallel to the floor. So in this unilateral position, we might wanna open up or twist either side, but you wanna keep everything neutral. Shoulders, hips, that spine. Really scoop the belly, warm up those abs, squeeze that backside as you lengthen out. And beautiful. Let's move into that other side, T-spine rotation. So now with that left hand by your ear, opening up the left elbow to the ceiling, dropping it down. Ready? Off we go. Really twisting through the spine. Get that full range of motion. Connect that breath, big breaths with the movement. Inhale and exhale. And finish that off, M moving into our bird dug on the other side. So extending that left arm out long by your ear. Right leg long, elbow to knee, really scooping in and out. Let's go, 45 seconds.
Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Can you stretch even further from that fingertip to the toe? Really long. And recover, take 15 seconds. We're moving into a child's pose with an upward dog. So belly to the floor. Let me just shift down on my mat. Lifting up, upward dog, and then child's pose. Off we go. So squeezing that back, squeeze those lats together. Then open up the knees, sit back, child's pose. Flow through this movement, up dog, and sitting back, child's pose. Really getting into that back on this one, stretching out those shoulders. This should feel nice and gooey. Keep flowing. This is your last move of your warm up. So I hope you're feeling warm and ready to go. And you are done. With that warm up, let's grab the weights. We're starting on our backs with a chest press. So grab your weights, lay down, flip those palms out. We have a right, left, double chest press. Let's go, dropping that right arm down, alternate, left arm down, and then both arms come down for a regular chest press. So alternating to a regular wide chest press. Or just not so wide, just making sure you're in that goal post position. So elbow is in line with the wrist. Squeezing those weights like magnets at the top. Beautiful. Now, transitioning up into a renegade row. So coming into a high plank, alternating right to left as you squeeze that weight up to your hip. Now option to do this on your knees. Off you go. So you're either on your knees in a half plank or join me in that full range, high plank renegade row. A little pro tip with this one, widen the feet in your plank, so have them about the distance of your mat. That's gonna help minimize those hips rocking side to side. So we're engaging those abs, squeezing that back as you row, really squeeze your lats together. Good, stay strong and recover. Now weights away for the next one. Push up either on your toes or knees. So push up, come back, two plank taps. Let's go. Chest to floor, press, tap left, tap right. Now option to be on your knees. So push up and plank tap. The idea is to get your chest all the way down. So if it's not quite all the way down in that full range, drop to your knees. Get that chest down, full range of motion, and then enjoy those two plank taps. And recover. Grab your weights. Now, I'm gonna use one weight for this. You can use two if you like. Laying down, we have a lat pullover into a crunch. So weight comes over the head, straight arms with soft elbows. Using your lats, bring that weight up, crunch. Bring attention to keeping that rib cage in as you extend that weight back. We wanna arch the back, open up the ribs, really keep the ribs in, 
press that lower back into the mat. If you've got two weights, you can always drop to one. See what I mean? This one is challenging. You'll also feel it in those triceps as well as that back. And rest. Now, if you've got one weight, grab your other weight. We have a narrow chest press with bicycle crunches. So out and in, or bicycle legs. So weights come down as the leg drops. Option to rest your head on the mat, or if you want to engage those abs a little further, lengthen that neck and just lift up from the shoulder blades. Bring those legs in tabletop as you press those weights to the ceiling. Beautiful, exhale on that effort. So good. Finish off this last rep. Now keeping those palms facing each other, open up into a chest fly, squeeze those weights together at the top. Ready, take a moment, take a breath. Let's go, open and close. Inhale to lower, exhale to squeeze. So soft elbows as you bring them out. And then you really feel this in your pecs as you squeeze those weights together. I always like to say like magnets, you really feel that tension as you close the weights. Beautiful, now weights down, just keep them by your side. Box the sit-ups. So you're sitting up, give me a jab cross, two punches at the top, coming back down. If you have lighter weights, you can do this with weights, otherwise join me. Body weight, sit up, two punches, back down. The idea with this one is to get those abs. So I don't want you to take it too much in the shoulders. So I'd probably prefer you to keep a body weight but it's totally up to you if you want to keep those weights. So sit up, get that rotation in your abs, come back down. Sit up, punch, punch, back down. Final 10. and take your rest. Standing tall, grabbing your weights. We have a bent over row. Same idea with that first move with our chest press. One on the right, one on the left, and then a regular row. Off we go. So it's a nice low row, keeping those elbows in tight, palms face each other. Right, left, double. Stay strong in your hinge, so your core is tight, booty, is back. You can always recenter after you do a rep and then come back down. So right, left, double, stand up tall. Otherwise, if you can, stay in your hinge the entire time. You got it, almost there and rest. Now, underhand front raise, alternating right to left. So underhand grip, so palms flip out. We're alternating right to left. Using your chest to scoop that weight up either side. Now you're also gonna get the arms here, but really focus on that chest lifting and then lowering. So you'll get a nice shoulder burn as well. 
keep that strong posture, so lengthen out that spine, soft knees. Finish it off. All right, last move with the weights. Reverse fly, so back in that hinge position, opening up those weights just like we did in that chest fly, but now we're in our hinge. Shake it out, get ready, off we go. So just like you're hugging a tree, opening up those arms, and as you open, think about pinching your shoulder blades together at the top. Bring that mind to the muscle that we're working. So now we're working that back. And you're getting the shoulders and the chest and all the good stuff as well. But we obviously have those major muscles that we're focusing on in certain moves. So bring intention to those bad boys. 10 seconds, if you're almost there, keep that core strong as you hit fatigue. One more. So strong, weights down. Now this is a little ab finisher with no weights. We're starting in a high plank, commandos. So we're coming down, low plank, up, high plank. Off we go, alternating sides each time. Now option, if you can't do it on your, knee, on your toes, drop to your knees. Stay in a half plank for me. So in this half plank, you're still engaging those abs, working that core and getting those shoulders as well. Making sure our palms are underneath our shoulders in that high plank and elbows underneath our shoulders in that low plank. Keep that good form as you move from one to the other. Last one. And rest. Coming onto your backs, leg lowers or leg raises, whatever you like to call them. So legs up the wall, hands either underneath your butt, behind your head, whichever you prefer, coming down and up. Now option, single leg, because if your back, lower back is coming off, just go single leg. If you're feeling strong, double leg. Really pressing that lower back into the mat. You can keep your neck down, or if you wanna make it harder, hands behind the head, lift the head and shoulder blades off. You're almost there. and rest, 15 seconds, not long. Tabletop those legs, cross crunches, opposite elbow to opposite knee. So flex those heels, make sure we're in a 90 degree bend. Let's go. Really twisting, lifting up as high as you can. Try and get that elbow to meet that knee without bringing that knee in though. <laughs> Keep those legs in tabletop the entire time. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the ab burn. And rest. Now we have one more move mountain climbers. So we're in a high plank position, alternate knees driving to our chest. Now option to go quick or fast, your tempo, let's go. If you're with me, I'm going on the quicker side to really burn out my abs and upper body. So a little finisher, drive those knees all the way to the chest.
You got it, team. You're over halfway. Breathe into that strength. You are so strong, 10 seconds. And rest. Open up those knees. Sit back into your child's pose. Let's lower that heart rate. Deep breaths. Amazing work. With every exhale, I want you to melt into the floor. Inhale, last one. Exhale, melt, and then coming up, let's open that right arm, stretch it to the ceiling, and thread the needle. Feel that stretch in the back, the shoulder. Beautiful, other side. Open up that left arm to the ceiling. Thread the needle through. Deep breaths. Another one in the bank. Making those deposits. Getting strong. All right, and coming up onto your bellies and just press up into an upward dog stretch out those abs maybe look over the right shoulder over the left beautiful and then just sit back into one more child's pose Tuck the toes under, walk those feet or hands to your feet or feet to your hands, either one. And just lay or hang in your forward fold, grab onto opposite elbows and release that lower back. Just sway side to side. Let it all hang. Beautiful, and then let's stop in the middle, slowly roll up, bone by bone. Head is the last thing to come up. And then when you get to the top, just give me some shoulder rolls. Roll them back, roll them forward. Inhale, reach those hands overhead, and then let's just cactus the arms, open up that chest. Beautiful, do that again, reaching up tall. Cactus the arms, open up that chest. And bring those arms down, let's bend the knees and take one big inhale, reach those hands overhead. Hands down through heart center. So good. Amazing work for showing up today, for showing up every day. Because I appreciate you because this keeps me motivated. And yeah, I hope you love this workout. I know your body will appreciate it by showing up every day. So keep doing it. Keep doing the work. I promise you, well, it doesn't get easier. You just get stronger. Yeah, you can always challenge yourself. Maybe next time you can pick up some heavier weights. Um, but I so, so, so am so grateful for you for being here, for working out with me, whether you're new, whether you've been here a while. I look forward to many more workouts and I will See you on the next one and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you guys.